Hey guys, welcome back to the Arsenal playthrough. Today we have our first competitive match against Liverpool and the Community Shield. But before we get to that, I'll show you how we got on so far in pre-season. As you can see, things have been going pretty well. We're unbeaten in pre-season. Uh, we also have the Lazio friendly in between the Community Shield and the first game of the Premier League season. I'll probably be playing that offline. I have made a few signings. We'll quickly have a look at them. The three signings I've made is Pau Torres from Villarreal for 40 million, Ruben Neves from Wolves for 80 million, and Federico Valverde from Real Madrid for 90 million. The Valverde and Neves deals are both 40 million up front, with the rest on add ons. And the Pau Torres deal, I think, was 25 million, and the rest on add ons. Uh, on the outside, Ilyev went to Ross County. El Nene are sold to Ajax for twenty-two million. A few youngsters went out on loan. Most notably, Reese Nelson's went to Aston Villa for the season. The rest are just youngsters from the under twenty-threes or the under nineteen squad, under eighteen squad. Sorry, I'll quickly show you the other players that I'm interested in bringing to the club. This is the first one. No, no. Tavares, Portuguese left back from Benfica. I'm pretty sure Arsenal have just signed him in real life. He's a quick pacey wing back. Can play anywhere up the left hand side, can also switch over to the right. So he'll be good cover for both. I am interested in bringing him to the club, but I've put a. I'm in the middle of scouting him, so we'll see if he's good enough to come to the squad first. I'll show you the next player that we're interested in. This is the other player that we're interested in. Pad. Patrick Sheik, striker from the Czech Republic. He's only 24, I think he looks pretty decent. He could maybe lead the line once Slack is in a Bamiyang. Move on, he can play in the striker role anywhere behind the strikers, which I like. He's very versatile. His first touch is really good. He's a very physical player. He can also dribble and finish. But they're the only two main ones that I'm looking at so far. Things might change in this Liverpool game, uh, after this Liverpool match. This will be my first big test up against Liverpool. So we'll get stuck into this match. This is the team we're sending out for our first competitive match. We've got Lennon goal, Bellerin, Torres, Gabriel and Tierney at the back. Shaq and Partey in the midfield. Pepe, sorry, Lingard should be in, uh, oh, Pepe, Odegaard uh, and Saka and behind Aubameyang up front. Lacazette has picked up a wee knock so he won't be starting, he might come on but hopefully we'll be able to do it without risking him too much. This is the Liverpool team, if anyone's interested in having a wee look at that. Let's pump the fists and say that we'll do it for the fans. Hopefully we'll be able to bring the first trophy into the cabinet of the save. I've always hated playing against the front three of Liverpool, especially in this game, they're really, really good. But I've got faith that we can bring it home. Liverpool with the first highlight. Salah off it in, cleared from by Tierney. Good hold up play from Aubameyang. We put Sodegaard through. Fabulous tackle there. Don't know who that was that ended up getting back for that. That was a good breakaway. The Liverpool team is just so good in this game. From front to back, every one of their players are world, uh, world class. And it looks like we're only getting that one highlight of the first half. Yep. We'll pop the fists again and see what we said at the start of the game. We'll do it for the fans. Hopefully we'll be able to nick a wee goal. 
Anything can happen when you've got the pace of Obama Yang, Saka and Pepe up there. Saka struggling a wee bit. I think I'll bring on Lacazette for him and switch Obama Yang out to the left. I think I'll bring off Chaka for Neves. Neves will be making his debut. I'll just leave it there. Pepe's not having the best of games. Good gather from Leno. Liverpool showing their stuff now. Good save from Leno. Another corner for Liverpool. Cleared back out to Salah. Good challenge from Neves. <clears throat> but he has it straight to a Liverpool player. Coming into the last 15 now. Would be awesome to grab a wee winner here. I think I'll bring on Smith Rowe for Pepe. He's picked up a knock and he's not been playing very well. Two young youngsters on each one in each wing. Bamiang got tackled from Ronaldo through to Manny. Manny scores. <coughs> it had been coming, Liverpool had been dominating possession there. Pavon with the free kick and Fabinho makes it two. That was a good header. Poor defending. Sorry about that. Smith throw to Bamiyang. Bamiyang. Black is out and it's offside. Unlucky. But I think that will be game. I think we'll just skip that. Don't really want to see that. Pepe has got a bruised ankle, so he should be back for the start of the new season. I'll see if I can try and offload a couple of players. Maybe bring in another attacking player for in this section. Pepe was playing really well in pre-season, but he had a really, really poor game against Liverpool there. I thought the back line done pretty well. Midfield that... We played well up until the last 10 minutes of the game. They had the bit of quality off the bench, so I'll definitely be looking to strengthen in that department because the only really the players that I could have brought on was Lacazette, who was not fully fit. Valverde and Neves are more defensive-minded players, so the only attacking threat I could have brought on apart from Lacazette was Smith-Rowe. We'll be back tomorrow with the first two games of the league season today is just another wee short one because it's still in the middle of pre-season so we'll play the last wee game offline and I will be back tomorrow with the trip to Stamford Ridge against Chelsea if you liked that pop up your like in the video hit the subscribe button and thank you very much for watching